Brigham Young University President Kevin J. Worthen has encouraged BYU faculty and students to be involved in inspiring learning. To the faculty, he said, quote, I hope we inspire our students to learn, and I hope that learning leads to inspiration. When both things happen, inspiring learning occurs, and we then know we are on the right track to achieve the core goals set forth in our mission statement. Recognizing that student learning occurs in a variety of ways, BYU Religious Education has decided to recognize some of the outstanding artwork that students have created as part of their assigned projects in various religion classes. The result is a student exhibit called Visualizing Learning, Student Artwork from BYU Religion Course Projects. Why does it matter that we allow students to express their religious learning through the arts? Well, watch and see. I learned the gospel visually before I ever learned it through the printed word. Traditionally in academia, we like students to read things and write things. But what about the students who don't express their learning through writing as well? I go through this process of learning about something about church history and doctrine, researching it, and then thinking about how I want to express it. I want students to go through that exact same experience in ways that speak to them. Art allows us to see things beyond our own imagining. And for the artist, it also allows them to witness a truth that they've known. It made me want to go back to scriptures that had always resounded with me, which I really appreciate because I think religion courses can offer a very academic perspective. And then the SMART project allows it to become a more of a personal and spiritual journey. I wanted to depict this figure interacting with this chair, interacting with the foundations that her parents gave her. In one of the images, the figure is holding on to the chair fairly strongly and feels confident. In the other image, the figure is sitting on the chair, grappling with things, but is firmly trying to stick to those core beliefs. And then in the last one, the chair almost seems to be a sort of backdrop as the figure is contemplating a type of fruit or light object. I think bringing in that new element allowed it to show that, you know, when you grow up, when you go through experiences, you bring in your own elements to your spirituality and your relationship with, with deity. I really enjoy the opportunity to be creative. Getting the opportunity to do something a bit more artsy is rare for me in classes. I just feel like it, it brings you a lot closer to the Savior than by just studying and taking a multiple choice test. What I chose to do was I chose to draw the moment when Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene in the garden um, after he has been resurrected. I just think that's a really special moment and I think it really speaks to the importance of the individual and how much Christ really does love the individual. I think the, the broad general idea comes from John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. I've always believed in the power of language and the power of words. We all have these images in our minds from when we read the scriptures, and getting to use those words to make those images just felt like the perfect way to do it. There is value in supporting students probing their witnesses. They, in the process, are also making an offering that is holy. These are the symbols on the Nauvoo Temple, and then the wood around the edges is real wood from the floorboards of the Nauvoo Temple that my uncle brought home after building it. Encouraging students to use visual art to express their learning pays off in many unique ways, both for the student who created the artwork and to the many students who get to see the artwork as part of the biannual Visualizing Learning exhibit. Art and imagery simply have a unique way to touch the soul and enlighten the mind that no other medium seems to have. We hope to expand the number of pieces that we can include in this exhibit, the quality of the display, and the recognition for students through awards and receptions. If you are a lover and believer in the arts, and especially religious visual art to promote inspiring learning, we kindly ask you to consider a donation to support this wonderful student endeavor, Visualizing Learning. To hail the bridegroom from above and join the band in songs of
love. 